This week on Special One TV, WikiLeaks, the Newcastle manager's job, and astonishing new revelations which link this show to England's failed World Cup bid. I have all the skinny. But first, some of your emails. Sven, what's with the hat? Oh well, have you not seen how cold it is out there? Yeah, catastrophic conditions. Go ahead, Wayne. One in from Derek in Cheshire goes, as temperatures reach record lows, Liverpool's title dreams were given a massive boost this morning, as it seems there is a distinct possibility that hell could actually freeze over. <laughs> Sven? Oh, well, a one in from Harry in Sydney. Uh, good day, Jose, mate. Uh, have you been following the cricket? Struth, mate, uh, would you ever consider opening the batting for Australia? Hmm. Very nice, Harry. Six. Shut up, Bradman. When? Yeah, this one comes in from Ali and Stoke. Goes, just got the new FIFA game there, but it won't work on me laptop. The file is Shane. It's corrupt. <laughs> what better way to go to the news? In an astonishing development, a new investigation has sensationally linked Special One TV to England's failed World Cup bid. Wayne has this report. A web of intrigue. A spate of WikiLeaks, a mystery figure, all uncovered in a trail of corruption spanning a continent from Moscow to Newcastle. And Wayne joins us now in studio. Wayne, what has this got to do with Special One TV? Well, just yesterday, this programme was in receipt of an anonymous WikiLeak. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the name of a mystery figure is obscured. And Wayne, do we know who this might be? Well, this is where the plot thickens, as the WikiLeak was accompanied by some CCTV footage there, which we can show now. Mm, interesting. He looks for me. Sven, is that you? How dare you? That could be anyone. I will not have my reputation besmirched. Luckily, as these pictures were inconclusive, we were able to use a different angle from the shame footage. David. So then we went to the premiere of Narnia. David, 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 go back to the last bit. What last bit, Sven? The bit about the England World Cup bit, David. Oh, it's fantastic. We've got some tricks up our sleeves for those Russians. Wait, David, Listen David, let me get a pen. Wait. What the hell did you think you were doing, Sven? Oh, well. What? So, I was talking to David. David and I talk all the time. You have nothing on me. Well, whoever it is, is operating under a code name, as this... A code name? <laughs> How ridiculous. You have been watching too many James Bond movies, Wayne Rooney. As this leaked footage from Moscow now reveals... Who is this? You can call me the Love Bucket. Love Bucket? You have information about England, Bid. Well, from horse's mouth. What do you want in return? Are you familiar with Newcastle? You want I buy Newcastle? Oh, well, no. I buy Chelsea. No. I buy London. I buy Newcastle. Oh, well, no. Just a little job in Newcastle. Oh, well. What are you looking at? So that explains the stinking hat. That could have been anyone talking on that phone. Phones, line one. This is FIFA. Please stop programming immediately, including all CCTV footage. What is their problem with video technology? Shut up, FIFA. Line two. All credit to Gorky Park, but I'm on the edge of my seat here. Very nice, Roy. Line three. Why you talk about me on TV? Big boss, I said nothing. Not you. Him. Sven? I've never spoken to this man in my life. Quiet, love bucket. Why you defy me? Well... You didn't exactly come through with your end of the bargain, did you? This is a viper's nest! Where is Nest? I buy Nest! Line four, Mr. Alex. Absolutely disgraceful behavior. Um, I agree, Mr. Alex. I don't think I've ever seen anybody stoop so low in football. I know. The corruption, the sleaze, the sheer lack of integrity. How could anybody humiliate themselves for that? The World Cup bid? No! The Newcastle job! Very nice. Be champions. Well... 